was hotly in the lime tree, lime tree Above the city and the rain clouds I poked a hole and watched it, watched it drain now I love taking pictures of people because I think that's what makes me feel alive when I'm in a moment like there's a person right in front of me I can talk I can communicate with this person we can have like we can build a bridge a connection my name is Bao um, I am from a city that's south of China it's called Kunming it's pretty close to Hong Kong growing up film became a very big part of my life when I was a teenager I was taking this like short film class for my senior year and then I really got into it and I feel like maybe this this is something I can work with as I guess my creative voice that I can project my visions, my idea, my inspirations into it. And photography comes when I think while I was making films I find such a strong connection between still photographs and moving images because they're so connected in the way that um, when you capture a moment, it's a moment frozen in time. Whereas a moving images are pretty much moments that's one after the other, so they're all connected. The synopsis of the film Salon, it's about a girl who wakes up in a salon and then finds herself in a very interesting situation where she has to deal with her Mora dilemma. I was trying to play with the idea of what we what will we do as individuals when we find ourselves in a situation where we feel like there's no one watching. Say, if you are in maybe like in an office or like in a public space and then when you find yourself alone, what would you do? Or what would you not do? We got into a whole conversation about traveling, about like why they went to Kunmin. So they went to Kunmin because Kunmin is a perfect place for um, conditional training. So they went there for like two, two weeks to train volleyball. Through the practice of volleyball, they are able to travel to places like China so they can like be outside of their own comfort zone and then just see what's out there. One more thing that really struck me was how they perceived who they are in a foreign country. And they're like, we love the culture, we love how people here have different perspectives that people can be so open and accepting and then they're like we are proud of who we are as well so like to be able to acknowledge your own identity but in the same time be accepting to like other other people's other people i love uh, the fact that they're very um, sportive you see a lot of a lot of um, sports people back home i i did this little like exhibit it's called art of aging which is taking pictures of people of their before and after. So before it's just their portraits of who they are and after would be um, when they see themselves after they've been put on a mask, which symbolizes like the effect of aging. So emphasize on the concept of aging as a natural process of being human. I love art and I think a lot of, for me it's, it's it makes me feel alive when I do it. Like this is something that um, speaks true to me.